Hello dear busting friends, today, I would like to explain the difference between the various field wedges, there are now 5 to 6 different field wedges available, why are there so many different ones? Which field wedge is best suited for you? How does it work? What should you pay attention to when buying? I would like to briefly address this. It starts with the spindle wedges. Spindle wedges with partially integrated spindle. Completely integrated spindle. Then, regarding the connection, let's start with the minifix spindle wedge. It's called a spindle wedge because it pushes the wedge in. The thread holds in the wood and pushes the wedge forward. The lifting force of such a wedge cannot be specified because it depends on the type of wood. If it is spruce wood or poplar wood, then the wood breaks between the grains. And with beech and oak, it exerts more pressure because the wood simply lifts more. For us, it is a supplementary wedge. It means not just going out with the field wedge into the forest, but I have a Frighten with me, I have a Minifix with me, an Ecofall, whatever. But I don't always need the full lifting power of the spindle wedge. If the tree is standing straight or only has a slight lean, then I just use that one. I don't need to widen the cut. I'm faster that way. I don't have to turn anything back and I actually don't have to pay attention to anything. Even though I have set up the chainsaw, I only use this one. It pulls itself in like a sprayer and opens the cut again. Or to reposition the field wedge, it's quite practical. If I want to push the field wedge or spindle wedge further in, I place it in, the tree holds, and I push the other one further in. Exactly. It is available with the 24mm fitting, which he always has, so it fits somewhat strangely. And if you drive well, with the 10mm fitting, it is ideal in combination with the fall fix. And, with the 13mm socket, which is the small one here, it fits the Ecofall. Exactly. I think there is not much more to say about the minifix. Now we come to our next wedge, the Ecofall. Ecofall is a very small, robust wedge. The steep wedge has an angle of 16 degrees. We deliberately made it this way. It has a high steep angle. Therefore, it is better for thin trees. A steep angle means less lifting force but more lifting height. Thin trees do not require much lifting force, but they do need lifting height, because at some point, I need to generate as much lifting height as possible, before I hit the brake line with the tip. Therefore, it has a relatively steep wedge, and is ideally suited for trees, ranging from 15 cm to 60 cm, depending on the slope, of course, spruce wood. Now we come to our lightest field wedge on the market, a 10 degree wedge that is incredibly flat. It weighs only 1.3 kg, impact wrench up to 700 nanometers. I forgot to mention that about the Eco Fall. Impact wrenches up to 1000 nanometrism, exactly 10 to 12 tons of lifting force. This one has 15 tons, a wildly popular wedge. Here you can see how it is constructed. You turn the side cover away, then a grease nipple is created here. The wedges have a left thread inside and a right thread outside. This means we do not need any bearings, we build very compact and light and robust. Here, we apply grease, which then comes out from under the plates at the top, thus lubricating the surface, and then it has its full lifting power. Now onto the next field wedge, Unifall has a medium wedge angle of 14 degrees. Again, Ecofall has 16 degrees and Fallfast has 10 degrees. The 14 degree wedge is suitable for thinner trees, but it can also be used for thicker trees. It is larger and heavier, weighing 3 kilograms. 17 mm wrench size, impact wrench up to 1400 nanometer. Milwaukee has just released a brand new model with 1400, which has real power. The DTW 1000 would be an ideal machine for that. Pressure force is 20 tons. We have a completely new program that has already found many friends. Then the classic, which we started with in 2016, the Volfast. A very robust, well-developed wedge with very aggressive knobs that really hold strongly in the tree. The complete spindle is integrated. You can connect it to the machine. It has a lifting force of 26 tons, a wrench size of 24 mm and a maximum torque of 1600 nm. There are many videos about it. It weighs 5 kilos. Now we come to the Max Fall, our largest spindle wedge that we offer the partially integrated spindle also extends further than the Volfast. Also, 14 degree wedge angle, 30 tons lifting force, impact wrench up to 2000 Newton meters, and also the 24 millimeter wrench size. A very robust, solid wedge, but it has more weight than the others. What works with all our field wedges is also unique in the market. We can connect any field wedge with the power wrench. That means this is the green hose, which is exemplarily set up here. This is a hydraulic hose that prevents the twisting of the power wrench to the wedge. 
and the spring holds both components together. Thus, you have a unit that you can take through the forest. This is really, really practical. I know this from experience as well. You take the machine and have everything with you, and you can get started. In the other hand, the chainsaw, and off you go. Exactly, that was it about our field wedges. If you have any questions, you can always write, email, or call. If there is still a question left open, just get in touch with us.